All right, so this is a review and reaction on August Alcina's album. It's called The Product Free State of Emergency. Um, the artwork is very interesting. It's very intriguing. Um, basically, it's got the image of him. It's like an animated type of um, artwork. Basically, he's head above, just, just about above the water. Um, so it's like he's drowning. Um, then on the other side is like he's got like... On the left side there's like a, a skull and on the other side on the right side there's a skull as well which is very interesting and um then he's got butterflies that two, i think there's like two butterflies and then um the like the background at, at the further back there's like the sun like the sun setting or something like that so it, it's very interesting and then hearing him talk in his interview with angela yee about you know why he called it a state of emergency Go watch the interview and you will see why. I don't want to go too much into detail, but I can respect why he would, you know, call it that. So anyway, there's basically 27 tracks on this album. So there is Nola, um, Today, Rounds, sin uh, Lessons, Sincerely, Deliver Us, which in uh, The Real Wolves. Then there's Triple R, which is Real Recognized Real. Then there's Fly Far, then there's Feeling, Perfect Strangers, Pretty, For Real, Work To Do, um, Be Good, uh, Soon As I Walk In featuring Tink, uh, Tonight, Longer, Sleeve, Chase, Breaks featuring Yo Gotti, uh, Broken Rolly, If We Broke Up, Ready, uh, Bossing Up, Resent featuring Little Wayne and uh, well Little Wayne and Juicy J and still don't know. Wow. Um that's a lot of um tracks. That's like if if he was producing on a CD, that is like three disc worths. Yeah, like three discs. Roughly that. Um so that's 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 very interesting that he put so much work into this uh, to this um this album so you can respect that grind you can respect that hustle um i definitely respect that and it's not easy to put out a body of work that you know is up to a certain level of quality to your previous work uh or your previous works so you have to give them um, respect for that um yeah i don't particularly have a particular favorite but one song that um I did like that I kind of resonated with slash instantly was um sincerely because he mentioned about his his nieces and it's the same thing with me even though the situation ain't the same and I thank God no disrespect to August Alcina's situation but like um yeah like basically I want the best for my nieces and my nephews as well so don't get that twisted but like you see what I mean like I want to be able to give them everything that they need, that they want, anything they, they ask for, from me, especially if they're asking from me, I want to be able to provide that for them. You see what I mean? I want them to have the best in life. Get me? That's that's all I can say on that. So, at the end of the day, I can respect that song and, I don't know, it just resonated with me very, very strongly. So, I guess you could say that's my favourite song on the album. But, let me know, what's your favourite song on the album? Leave, that, leave your answer in the comment section below. What's your favourite songs? I don't want to say song, but songs, because there's 27 tracks. But if you had to choose one, which one would it be? Um, but yeah, as usual, you know what I do. If it, I take one song, if it's out of context or in context, it is what it is. And I'm just going to take the actual... Um... In fact, you know what? Well, before I do that, let's talk about the song... Uh, what song was it? It was um, Every Break Up. Listen, whether you're a man, especially if you're a man, but he would talk about all this petty shit he would do if, you know, if him and some woman broke up or whatever. But, nah, fuck all that shit. Do you know what I mean? Fuck all that petty shit. Like, yes, I know some guys can be petty too. But, I mean, really? And I know it's just hypothetical, yeah, in regards to this song. But, you just need to man up. Like, if, if you and her situation is done, it's done. Move on. Do you see what I mean? It, regardless of whatever she did, said or done... You, you just move on. Yeah? You just move on. There's 
plenty women. Yeah, plenty women. I don't know if you can understand. There's plenty women. Plenty. Anyway, so you don't need to be petty. You see what I mean? Or you could say if, if you really feel you need to be petty, then the best way you can be petty is by moving on and getting on to a next woman that you find even more pretty. You see what I mean? Pretty vibes, pretty energy, all that stuff there. Woman that is pure feminine. That's the woman that you're supposed to be going for anyway. Yeah, but you can only really get a feminine woman if you are a masculine man, if you are alpha male. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to take one song, but I'm going to take the actual, um, the title of the album, the Product Free State of Emergency, because he's got the emerge word um, in emergency, like capitalized. And, um, you know, when it comes to dating and relationships in general, um, sometimes you can get, you can get to that point where you feel like you're in a state of emergency. Yeah. And that's when, you know, um, you feel like it's, it's such an odd one because when you give your all, like it can feel like you, and the other person not given the same energy back. It can really feel like you're drowning. So now I get the picture of the, the artwork. It can really feel like you are drowning because at the end of the day, let's look at it in another point, another way. When you break up with that person, especially guys, this is what some guys do, yeah? Especially in England, yeah? As far as I'm aware, right? What do they do? They go drown their sorrows. They go to the pub and drown their sorrows. Or they go to fucking, go to the off license or go to wherever and they cop them like a, like a beer or whatever and they drown their fucking sorrows. They drown their sorrows. Huh? So you're gonna fuck up your liver for a woman. Are you dumb? You're gonna fuck up your liver for a woman. Now I'm not saying don't drink alcohol because I drink alcohol now and again anyway. You see what I'm saying? But the point I'm trying to make is Everything is within balance and you don't do it to drown your sorrow. You drink alcohol to vibe, all that stuff there. But you, yeah, it's about balance at the end of the day. It's about balance. But you don't do it to drown your sorrows. Do you see what I mean? Especially if you're drinking spirits. There was a song. Oh, who was it? I was watching something and then they mentioned something about about their, their, their uncle or whatever got drinking spirits and then another spirit came out of him. You know, he's completely different to the situation, um, I can't remember, but anyway, fuck it, um, but you, you get the point I'm trying to make, because it releases your inhibitions, and it releases your, yeah, but it doesn't really solve the problem, because when you sober up, the problem is still there, so you have to solve that problem, but anyway, so, the point I'm trying to make is, that's when you get to that point where you say, like, alright, cool, let me try and solve this problem, yeah, let me solve it once and for all. And now if you're at that point, which you should be, you need to develop yourself, whether you're a man or a woman, yeah, you need to develop yourself, those traits that are naturally within you. So if you're a man, you've got to develop yourself as a far-bred alpha male. And if you're a woman, you've got to develop yourself as a pure feminine woman. Plus you've got to learn how dating and relationships actually work. Because when you do that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to attract the right people for you in your situation, yeah? Now, they may not be perfect. You may not be perfect. You may not be 100% all the way there. And they may not be 100% all the way there yet, yeah? But the point I'm trying to make is you have to embrace situations. Because what's going to happen is when you are in a state of emergency, what happens is that person is going to help you with your situation. You see what I'm saying? And you'll be able to help them with their situation, even if it's not on a conscious thing, it's, it's like a subconscious thing. You bring each other, you are in each other's lives for a reason. Even if it's just for one season, you're in there for a season and you help them achieve their goal, isn't it? You see what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, the biggest championship you can ever win or the biggest trophy you can actually win is simply, you know, healing from your situation and you help them heal from their situation. That's the biggest championship you will ever fucking win. Yeah. And the reason why I say that. Because when you give. You gain. You get it. 
But anyway, to be able to do that, click the link in the description box below which says become a member of the Acub You Don't Trust. You can get access to online courses such as roles and relationships and that's bigger to learn all of that vital piece of information because at the end of the day, you don't want to ever feel like you are drowning when it comes to your relationship situation or in life in general. You don't want to ever feel that way and even the other cases in the course to do with uh, um, healthcare, you'll learn how to strengthen your mental health so you know how to deal with your problems and your emotions when you're in a relationship situation and it feels like you're giving so much but they're, they're not giving the same amount back. You will know what to do within that situation. You will know how to feel, you know how to handle yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you won't have to feel like you're drowning. Yeah, it's not about that. You have to understand situations, yeah? But anyway, listen, I'm gonna give the album a 10 out of 10. Um, it's amazing how there's 27 tracks and that like, all of them are a vibe. The production quality is nice. The, um, well, let me just say not nice because nice actually means silly. If you know, you know, but um, yeah, like it's a quality piece of um, work, body of work, 27 tracks. Um, and look, the brother can sing in it. Do you see what I'm saying? Like he, he can sing, there's context to what he's singing about. Um, so it's R&B in it. It's R&B, give me rhythm and blues. So a man singing with rhythm and he's singing his blues. You gotta respect that. Um, but yeah, look, uh, like I said, let me know what your favourite songs are Or at least if there's one Leave that in the comment section below And um, the album to, li to listen to The link is in the description box below So go stream that, go buy that Do what you got to do And if you've got any questions Any topics you'd like for us to discuss in our videos Leave that in the comment section below And remember, hit the subscribe button Hit the bell notification Because you never know the video you suggest might just be next